Kachak here guys, 9.2 legendaries are going to suck for gold makers. Wow, that is a very bold claim, so let's get into it as this could get dicey. The first thing I want to quickly say is that I'm 95% sure I will not be crafting any legendaries, even though I have them all trained to sell on the auction house in 9.2, so whatever you decide to do following this video, it does not affect my gold making at all. Legendaries are going to be massively in demand in 9.2. I have covered this before. We are finally getting rid of domination sockets so we can have some choice about what slots we use for our gear. Double legendaries are coming, best in slots are changing, people are coming back to the game in 9.2 so this sounds pretty awesome for sales, right? But there is another side to all of this and that is what I want to touch on today. I will cover how this is going to affect established legendary crafters, but to start with I want to touch on these posts I keep seeing from people who come asking for advice saying something along the lines of, should I spend my only gold, the most I have ever had, to train up a single legendary? I see this a lot on the WoW Economy subreddit where people seem to think if you invest everything you have in gold to train up legendaries then suddenly you're going to make a ridiculous amount of profit from it, and it is simply not true. On some servers, I have no doubt that you can throw these up on the auction house, forget about them, come back the next day and have some sales. But from personal experience, even low population realms, these things are getting cancel scanned crazy amounts and to tell someone to invest all their gold without even knowing if they can do the same or if their server is competitive on selling them is pretty irresponsible advice. If someone new wants to get into legendaries and they say they can aggressively cancel scan for six to seven hours a day, then even if they only have one good legendary trained, you go for it, man. Whatever server you are on, you are going to make a bucket load of gold. But for the vast majority of people who are in this situation, that simply will not be the case. So what should we be advising newer gold makers to do? I know I keep banging on about it, but in 9.1, I made 180 million gold profit in four days. No legendaries, absolutely minimal investment. That full video is linked in the description below. Crafters Mark gear can be insanely profitable if you're fast enough with a grind and there's absolutely no risk attached. Even if we go away from current expansion stuff, if someone has a relatively small amount of gold, then investing on older expansion professions that give a relatively small but regular and reliable source of gold would seem more prudent advice. What about the established legendary crafters? Well, you are going to do fine. I'm sure you know your own auction house well by now and are selling these things left, right and centre. But we have new vestiges of the Eternal in patch 9.2 and everyone will likely be getting this at exactly the same time so there's no barrier to entry. Everyone you're competing against now with rank 6s will be competing against you for rank 7s. The majority of the cost of the new vestige are from the new materials in 9.2, so it's going to be more difficult for anyone to cut down the crafting costs on the rank 7s compared to the rank 6s, as you can't source the materials cheaper. Profit margins could well be thinner on rank 7s than the current rank 6s. Now I know people have stockpiled and picked up some cheap materials, and that's great, and it will help, but it won't last forever. So, will legendaries suck for gold makers in 9.2? Sort of. Some people are going to make absolutely millions and millions from it. Profit margins could well be thinner, but they will make up for that in the bulk that they will sell with the increased demand. Those that can afford the time to sit at the auction house, cancel scanning all day, are going to get extremely rich. But for a lot of people in the legendary game or are thinking of getting into it, legendaries really will suck for you and could well end up being a gold loss that you could have invested elsewhere to make profit. I know this is probably going to be my most downvoted video ever as a large section of the gold making community seem to almost worship legendary crafting but I think we just need to realise what works for one person doesn't work for everyone especially giving advice to inexperienced gold makers. Thanks for taking the time to watch guys. If you can hit like, subscribe, all that good stuff really helps me out and I've got some other videos for you popping up on the screen right now.